Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Project Zomboid, episode 17. So I had a thought about a few different things I could do. I've been really trying to rack my brain as to where I should go from here. And I can set this... That sounded like somebody died. Oh, I bet they jumped out of a second story somewhere. So I realized I could probably put this watering can on the ground so it can just collect water naturally. And then I'm going to give my, my crops a little look here. Healthy, well watered. Healthy, well watered. I think everything is doing well. Appears to be anyways, which is very good. We were a little interrupted on our farming research, but we did get some of it done. But really, we need to sleep. Poor Mark Allen, he's a restless sleeper anyways, and here it is. It is very early in the morning. So we're going to eat this watermelon while it's fresh, get good and hydrated and a little fed, get a full full tummy, go to sleep. Hopefully we're not awoken by any banging on anything. Doesn't sound like it. Very good. And now that we're up, let's go ahead and... We'll take some vitamins, too. Excellent. And then we'll eat some more of this watermelon. Wonderful. Now, we could work on the deck. But honestly, I'd like to get another rain collector. And we're going to have to do some clearing, some clearing out of the area here. So, let's prioritize that. We got our kitchen knife on us. Although I think for these small groups we can afford to stick with the butter knife. Did I hear some groups over here? Doesn't look like it. So what, we got six down there. Should be fairly easy to take. No skills to level up. Got our light footed and our sneaking up pretty good. I like to work on that sprinting. Carpentry's really up there. Blade maintenance is about to level up. A little over halfway. Pretty happy with that. Alright, nobody at our door. Let's see if we can pull these guys over here one at a time. I don't like having the zombie horde start to migrate closer to my house. It's very easy for a small group to turn into a big group over time. Get rid of you, digital watch. I need to remember to check that. Make sure that alarm isn't set. It just becomes zombie bait if it is. Okay. Three of you, a little too many for my taste. Let's go over here and take care of you. Very good, very good. I'm just gonna walk around in a circle here and get you guys separated up, there we go. Push and stab. I'll push you, yep, and then stab you and then we'll stomp on you a little bit. There you go. Okay, looks like nothing good. Our, so we got quite a few... Set alarm off. So we've gotten quite a few axes from the zombies in the beginning and a few pistols mid-game. But we haven't really had any luck with getting another axe or pistol at our later stage of the game. Okay, we got a little group there. Street's pretty clear that way. I would like to go down there and check some more restaurants. Oh no, we got a good mid-sized group there. What's that? Quick count says nine. Mm. Let's take care of this group. Oh, and we got a big group migrating down. Oh, what was I thinking? Picking a safe house in downtown. I really just don't know. Don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking it would be fun and different and challenging. And it is some of those things. Come on, a little more separation. Thank you, that'll work. You, you're fast. Excellent. All right, step right up. And broke our butter knife. That's okay. We'll equip this one. And we'll throw down this one. All right. And now we'll get, we'll get you, the slow poke. Excellent. See if we can... Oh, there's a pistol. 
No, 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 don't put it in that bag. That's that's my overflow. My bags are out of order. It's got me got me a little disheveled 9mm rounds. That's good. We could try to do some luring of the zombies away with the gun. I don't know if that's how I want to do things just yet, though. Oh, that's a significant group up there. That's the beginning of a horde up there. Come on. Let's let's get a little bit away from your friends. Anybody down here? We got a mid-sized group, the beginning of a mid-sized group there. Okay. All right. And I don't want to thing is I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time cleaning all this area out because all it's going to take is a gunshot and then next thing I know the hordes will be back. So I want to be efficient with my time and make some progress on what we need, which what we need is some more some more wood, some more trees cut down. Get our skills, skills looking good. Some more trees cut down, some more logs sewn into planks. We need to get our carpentry book. Well, we don't have, actually we don't have an advanced carpentry or, no, it would be master carpentry or expert, whichever one's in between. So we need to actually check out the bookstore. I don't know why I said store. I meant the store, obviously. <laughs> I need a, need a drink of water, I think. Okay, all right, all right. You first. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, I messed that up. You sit down. And then we'll stomp on you. There we go. Please don't be behind me. All right. Antidepressants. I feel like we have quite a few of those. I should take them. They don't weigh much. I passed some up a couple episodes ago, and the hoarder in me was like, what if you need them one day? You're going to wish you had grabbed them. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and commit to taking them. They don't weigh that much. It's not really that big of a problem. I don't like that the power's out. All right, let's see. Cooking for beginners. We don't need that. What we need is, expert is seven to eight, so we need expert carpentry is what we need. Expert carpentry, there's expert fishing, expert, expert electricity, expert trapping, and advanced carpentry, five to six. There's no ex, no, no expert carpentry. Unfortunately, we could go and check the post office. Let's see. Post office is a little bit further down. There was a lot of books in there that I left. We could check that out. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Keep an eye out for garbage bags. This restaurant might be a good place to score some garbage bags. Let's, yeah, this area is not too bad, actually. So while the hordes are congregating near our safe house, these streets here are pretty well clear. All right, now. Get off that door. Who's going to be first? You? Got it. Oh, and you're an eager beaver, okay. And your friend. Got it. Okay. Using up all these butter knives gonna need more here eventually all right let's smoke a cigarette mark allen's getting a little anxious um i guess you know what we'll go ahead and have some watermelon and the rest of this salad as well and we'll smoke a cigarette we'll take some of these vitamins since we're getting a little drowsy all right okay so next let's try No, we're going to stick with the butter knife. I was thinking maybe we'd need a kitchen knife, but I don't think we will. What are the odds on an alarm here in this building? Looks like no alarm. Key, okay. Let's go ahead. The windows are open, but we can shut that door at least. All right, let's take our time here. I don't like being indoors when they're not secure and the power's out and there's zombies. I don't like fighting in confined areas. 
We do have a fire axe if it comes down to it. I will pull that thing out and start cutting people up before I let myself get caught in a bad situation. I just, it makes me nervous. All right, nothing there. Let's check out the kitchen. These doors are busted. There's, there's some beating on something. No, no, no. I Sounds like... Yep, there you go. Somebody hear something? Let's, let's make sure this area here is clear. Got a busted window. Somebody is banging on something. I don't like it. Let's grab a couple of planks. We can get more easily, but... I see no reason not to take them. We're here. Okay. Butter knife. Time to load up with a cooking pot. We can set outside for the rain. Cereal's a good meal. We'll hold on to that. Who's... Oh. Okay, we got a couple people here. Come on. Nobody behind. All right. Got you. Let's get your friend here. So that door is wide open. But she's continuing to bang on this door. Come on, get away from the door there. Oh, I'm so nervous in this confined area. I need to make sure I know where my exits are. All of these windows, though. Okay, all right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here and make sure this area here is clear, and we're going to remove this broken glass so that if that entrance becomes compromised, we can go out that window quickly. All right, I feel pretty good about that. What do we got in these refrigerators? The cheese is fresh. Corn is fresh. We're going to take the mutton chop and the rotten steak. The juice box. Let's go ahead and drink that now. Grapes are fresh. Let's eat all of those. Ketchup we're going to hold on to. Butter. Let's go ahead and hold on to the butter. Another juice box. We're going to drink that. Trying to stay ahead of the curve with water. Can opener. Another cooking pot we can leave out for the rain. Three butter knives. Okay. Garbage bag. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Garbage candy. We're going to throw that in our inventory in case we need a little pick-me-up. Another cooking pot for the rain. Red wine. Hunger, thirst, and happiness. I think we're going to hold on to that. Bunch of dead, dead rats, dead mice. Can of tuna. Mac and cheese, canned tomato, some tea bags. Yeah, we'll take those. Just clean this area out here. Sugar, tea bag, cooking pot, coffee. That's good. All right, box of sparklers. Ah, it's been a long time. I'm pretty sure those are for bombs. We're going to grab those just to have them. Butter knife. Let's face that way. Okay, so there are some that are close by. We need to keep an eye on them. What are you doing? No. Take this to this and put it in here. Cooking pot can go in there too. She's going to crawl right in here. All right. Oh, that's kind of a large group actually. A couple of them crawled in. I don't like this. Stab you. And then we'll stab you. Alright, okay. Whew. My heart's my heart's racing a little bit. I'm a little nervous. Alright, they're wandering away. That's good. Trash bag is empty. trash can is empty. More butter knives. Peanut butter. Chocolate. All right, what are you guys doing? You're wandering out into my dining room that I secured. Okay, all right, all right. I don't want to get pinned in here. So this back way looks clear now. They've kind of scattered a little bit. 
more butter knives. Canned goods, another cooking pot for the rainwater. We're going to have a lot of cooking pots out for rainwater. I don't want to run out of water. It's got me really nervous. Okay, some more food. That bag is full. We're going to start putting food in our overflow bag now. Another cooking pot. More red wine. Sure, why not? The days are going to start getting more difficult. You never know when you're going to need a good drink to try and relax. Coffee. I don't think I grabbed the red wine. I'm going to go back and check it in a minute. I'm mostly, I'm not even looking up here. I'm mostly looking down here. These guys have me really nervous. Okay, he's by the door now. I don't like that. Okay, all right. Let's take care of you. Yep. Okay. Right next to the door is where he's standing at. He's standing right here. It's got me really on edge. Face. Some rain. We have rain. We're going to need to go back and get our rain collector up. Chocolate. Stop. It keeps highlighting the wrong thing. Okay. I want the flour, the peanut butter, and the dog food, please, right down here. And then... What else? We get everything else. Okay, pay attention, pay attention. I don't want them to sneak up on me. I'm really nervous about that. Carrots in a cooking pot. Okay, what about here? Kitchen knife, that's a good find. Okay, all right, okay. A little bit confined here. Grab this key. All right, that guy's creeping in on us. Sardines, cereal, tomato, let's grab that. Okay, let's grab the cereal then. Okay, we're going to take the cereal to our inventory there. Okay, so we're just going to leave those guys alone. Let's go ahead and climb out this window that we cleared. And let's head back. Our bags are pretty much full at this point. We're going to start to get overweight with our carrying capacity, and I don't want to deal with that. Plus, I want to get this rain collector up while it's still raining. Let's go ahead and run. We can get our sprinting up, which we need to do anyways. So we might have attracted that person. Didn't get a chance to swing by the mailbox for the next carpentry book. But we will do that before too long. That's not going to be too difficult of a thing to do. Blind corner. Okay, we've got a small group there. So for everybody that wondered why I haven't secured the doors yet, this is exactly why, because I'm going to enter my house right now. Okay. And we'll progress from here. So I know this area, as long as the doors are there and the windows are boarded and the sheets are up, this area is secure. Okay. Excellent. Well, we've got tons and tons of food. In fact, we have more food than we can fit in this uh, in this cabinet, actually. That cabinet is full to the brim, so we're going to need to start stashing the food in here. We'll take these garbage bags out. Um, as far as the rotten food goes, let's... Hmm. How many planks does it take? Let's grab a hammer out. I know we got some nails. Carpentry, furniture, rain collector. We need. We have one plank. We need four. I could have sworn I grabbed two planks. Did I really just grab the one? Um. Okay, that's that's fair. So then, what we're gonna need to do. Let's, we'll sort these bags out here in a minute. Let's go ahead and put these bags down. And then what we can do is we'll take these garbage bags, which we'll need the plank and actually we might as well take these cooking pots too. We can drop them off outside before we do anything else and the saw. Okay. So let's go put down these cooking pots. 
Still raining? Of course the rain has stopped. Too slow. I was too slow. How's the rain collector barrel doing? 63% full. It's still a little stormy. I just don't see much rain. Hmm. Alright, well, we can put these out. Like that. They'll collect water. That's good. And we need some bags. We need some bags for the planks. We got ourselves a butter knife equipped, but we have kitchen knives on us and plenty of other butter knives in case we need them. You can go on the back. And both of you are full of stuff, and you can go secondary. Oh, uh, did we not put the, we didn't put the other one on our back. Okay, that's fine. Equip on your back. All right, we're ready to rock. Let's go do this. The rain might come back as long as there's still still some thunder going on. Okay, we've got a small group there on the corner. This area should still be pretty clear. Um, that's a small group. Wow, we don't have... We don't have a lot of logs at all, really. Just a couple, it looks like. All right, well, let's saw them up. Oh, I feel like I should clear this area out. Let's do it and be ready to run. All right, I don't see anybody. Three planks, we'll put them in there. And then we'll cut... We'll cut down the last log. Or we'll saw the last log into planks. I'm sorry, I'm really, really nervous right now. I don't like that I lost visibility here. I just gotta be ready. Be ready to run at a moment's notice. There could be some for all I know right here in these woods. Okay. Not so bad. So we'll make ourselves another rain collector. And then I'd like to make myself a crate, but I don't know. Carpentry, wooden crate, takes three planks. We're not going to have enough to do both without cutting down more trees. But I'd like to make a plank for a, a crate, I'm sorry, for all the canned goods that I got. I think we'll, I think we'll take care of that another time though i'm mostly focused on all of these zombies all right so here is where we will do our rain collector barrel right there skip one right there i love it i love it okay that is great okay let's get our canned goods uh, what do we still have three planks that's enough for a crate. Wait, hold, hold on a second now. That is enough for a crate. We'll put a crate right here for more canned goods. Yeah. Wonderful. All right. So our both of our packs are empty. Let's go ahead and lay them down here. And then we'll pick these up. Put these back where they belong. So you... Wait, wait, wait. I want the one that has my stuff in it. This one. Um, they all look like they have the same stuff in it. That one's got the sparklers. Okay, so which which one has the sparklers? A little bit of a roundabout way of doing this. So I need the one that doesn't have the sparklers to be on my back. And this one will be secondary. Wonderful. Okay. Canned goods and non-perishables are going to go here. All of this. Coffee, dog food, mac and cheese, peanut butter, all of that. Sugar? Sugar should be in here. I think we can afford to take half of our butter knives that we found. We did find quite a few. Take half of our butter knives. We'll put them in our backup pack. Uh, let's go ahead and put a fifth in there, or another one in there. Leave us with six plus the one equipped, and then kitchen knife, same thing. Let's take one and put it in there. 
All right, so now we have some some non-perishables in that box. That is our bag. Nope, coffee. Get that out of here. And an extra water bottle. Yeah, let's go ahead and put it in there for emergencies. We don't really need that on us. And then here, all these non-perishables, ketchup, coffee, cereal, yep, all of that. You, you, I, I don't think butter goes bad. I don't know, maybe it does. I mean, I feel like over a long enough period of time, butter will go bad. But I'm pretty sure it can sit at room temperature for quite a while. Yeah, I'm not sure. If uh, if anybody knows, you know, feel free to let me know in the comments. As always, I always appreciate the advice. It, it has been a little while since I've played this game, but I just I'm I'm very passionate about this game. I enjoy it a lot. I enjoy the challenge and the the heart rate that I get playing these permadeath games. Cheese and corn. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Throw these rotten things in with here. We have melted ice cream. Let's go ahead and eat. Let's let's grab one and eat it. Doesn't look like it gives us any negatives. It's melted, but it's not bad. Let's eat the melted ice cream. Take care of this hunger. We're a little peckish. Well fed. Look at that. And then the cheese and the corn can go in here with all the other stuff that's starting to go bad. Such is the way of life. Sparklers, I feel like, are a desk item. In here, antidepressants are going to go into our medicine garbage can, and our pistol goes in the filing cabinet. Or not. Or not. We'll just, we'll have an extra pistol, what, right here on the floor, I guess. Oh, so much, we need so much lumber to do the deck, to do the walls, to do the crates. Really, what I need to do is just cut down that whole bit of woods over there. That's really what I need to do. But before I get into all that, I want to get the next carpentry book. And before I do that, what am I going to do? Let's go clear out some zombies around the house. That's what we'll do. We'll put the saw back here. Get our butter knife out. Start taking care of some of these smaller groups. Put our hammer away in there. It's not bad. Oh, peanut butter? Oh, that's something we don't need to hold on to at all. So we can get rid of the peanut butter. We'll get rid of the lollipop. We'll put one of the mint candies away. Chocolate, cereal, all that stuff. Farming for beginners or carrying this on us the whole time? Yikes. Okay. Down to 11.14. That's pretty good. Let's go check out the surrounding area here. Yeah, that group is starting to grow. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, let's... Uh, we got a group down there. They just, they're almost, I think at this point, they're almost just drawn to the smell. This area's got a smell just absolutely horrendous right now. With no relief in sight. Okay, all right. Well, we pulled pulled quite a few because I was trying to see around the corner of the house. No, we only pulled three. Look at that. That's perfectly fine. Butter knives. All you see are dead zombies and butter knives all over the floor. All right, let's do this. Time to tango. You, you both sit down. I'm talking to this gentleman right here. Nope. No, no, no. No, thank you. Please. Please, just, just hang out for a second. Okay, butter knife broken. Next up. Let's grab this one. Trying to check these bodies. Be as thorough as I can. I don't care about the hiking bag. All right. Okay. Who's next? You? Let's go ahead. 
That's right, one at a time. One at a time. That's what I like to see. Let's do this. <gasps> nope. Nope, too many. Both sides. Nope, just one side. Okay, all right. Don't panic, don't panic. My vision cone is narrower than I'd like it to be. It's not the end of the world, though. We're just a little tired. Oh, no, 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 get back. No, 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 push in the wrong way. No, no, no. No. Scratched and scratched. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is not going to be good. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we didn't get bit. All right, all right. Let's, let's leave them be for now. Let's take care of this. All right. First aid kit on the floor. All right. So first things first, we're going to disinfect with alcohol wipes. Oh my goodness. It was like the window had clicked up and okay. Okay. That's fine. Bandage with sterilized bandage. Got all kinds of scratched. Disinfect with alcohol wipes. Then we're going to bandage with sterilized bandage. I can't believe that. I thought, oh my goodness. Just, okay, I need to I need to recover and not, not focus on what happened because I'm just going to run it through my head over and over again. We need to eat right now. And then get our healing up. And then we're going to take painkillers to make the pain go away. Okay. We, we should have more painkillers in here. A little bit of pain, minor injuries, we're very tired. Let's take some more painkillers. And then we're gonna take these vitamins. Try to wake up a little bit. We're still in minor pain, we're gonna take more painkillers. Take more vitamins. We're well fed. All right, now let's grab ourselves an ax. This one here. I'm going to equip it in both hands. And then we're going to take some beta blockers and we're going to go down here and we're going to we're going to handle business. I can't believe how quickly oh, that's this game. This game will turn on you so fast and turn all of your hard work climb through, please. Okay. All right. We're hypochondriac, though, so we're going to have some serious issues with that, with getting scratched twice. Yeah, knocking my planks down. You guys better chill out over there. There you go. Get some of that. Nope, no, no. Okay, our axe broke. Time to pull out the good axe. Oh. Well, there's no sense in hoarding it if we don't if we don't use it when we need it. And right now we kind of need it. Nope. Get some of that. There you go. Come on. Nobody behind us. Let's go. Come on. No, no, no. My my vision radius is starting to shrink pretty good. We're still in pain. Um, got more painkillers on us. Let's take them. Let's take some more. Still in pain. Come on. Let's do this. No, no, no. Crawler. Okay. All right. Focus, focus. Thanks is... No more misclicks. There you go. Still in pain, minor pain. We need to get rid of that. It's hurting our accuracy. Okay. Still in pain. It's because we keep moving. You have to stop moving to take the pain pills. All right, there we go. I'm keeping a close eye on our bandages. We're gonna change them the minute they get dirty. 
All right. Put a little bit of wear on our axe, I'm sure. We broke our other one. No, we didn't. The axe is still in good shape. All right, let's take care of this. Well, no, no, no. I have a feeling the bandages are about to get dirty. Let's hang tight. We'll stay up here. Let's make sure we have some more sterilized bandages ready to go. Okay. This axe I'm going to repair because I don't like having them almost broken. I want to save those for the trees. Actually, here, we'll, what we'll do is we'll put the axe in here with the other broken axe and the wood glue. All right, we have a dirty bandage. Let's change it right now. Remove bandage. We're going to get a little bit of a panic. Yep, because we're still bleeding. And we're going to disinfect again. And bandage with a sterilized bandage. All right. At this point, we've got dirty bandages we need to clean. Let's uh, let's clean those. Clean bandage. And then what we can do is we can sterilize this bandage. Yep, we're going to disinfect this bandage with a bottle of disinfectant. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I'm just like, my heart is racing. Just one misclick after another, and then I had a panic reaction, and I'm just... Whew, I need to come out on the other side of it. I need to leave it behind me. And stop thinking about my mistakes. It's just going to make me make another one, and then I'm just going to be in a chain reaction of mistakes. That is the worst thing you can do in a game like this, but especially Project Zomboid, when you get so worked up over a single mistake that it just causes you to chain react mistake after mistake after mistake. Uh, I, had, I had misclicked, obviously, at some point, and for whatever reason, I... I was focused on my mouse being over here instead of bringing it over in the direction it needed to be. Um, but we are through it now. We are past it. Now we're going to have to deal with... We're going to have to deal with... Um, here, let's go ahead and get some food. Another box of cereal. Actually, no. How about a box of mac and cheese? Same diff. It's 40, 40 hunger either way. Something quick, something easy. Make sure we get really well fed. So very well fed. And then let's eat any fruit in here that is still good. Corn, too full to eat. How about now? Too full to eat. I'm just well fed though. Okay, well that's going to help our healing. Okay, we, we're a little anxious. But that, that being anxious is not from not smoking. That's because... Mark Allen's a hypochondriac. He's going to be a little freaked out until he can get to sleep, which really is what he needs to do. No. He needs to stay up reading. Take his mind off of this. How about farming for beginners? Let's finish that book, shall we? He's like, the last thing I want to do right now is read. But you need to read. You need to read while we can sit here and monitor your bandages. All right, we have a dirty bandage. We're going to remove it. We're going to disinfect with alcohol wipes. because, And I might be disinfecting a little too often, but Mark Allen's a hypochondriac. He's trying to do everything in his power to keep himself from developing an infection. Oh, and he's queasy. Not feeling so good at all. But the way I look at it is you don't get a lot of times where you get injured. You don't get a lot of times where you get injured and you get to walk away from it. So I'm like, we have all these medical supplies. There is no reason not to use them at this point. I haven't even hit the pharmacy yet. There's tons of med more medical supplies we could get if we really need to. My mentality is just, just, you know, use it all. We're going to take all the painkillers that we need to go to sleep. I don't want to overdose on them necessarily, but... I want to make sure that we can get rid of this pain enough to go to sleep. It looks like we've already 
already eaten our food. Let's go ahead and canned bolognese. Let's open one of those. Yep. We're going to eat one of those. Spaghetti bolognese. Yes. We're going to eat a lot. Get as much healing as we can. Fed. Not well fed, but fed. Okay, so we're going to eat this corn. And these grapes. No, nope, go ahead and select eat. Too full to eat. Okay, all right, all right. We're going to stay up a little bit longer. It's not like we're going to get much sleep anyways, worrying about our infection. And let's go ahead and read Farming for Beginners. No, at this point, I think that's a bad call. I've changed my mind. I think what we need to do is while we're well fed, we need to sleep. Let's get ourselves some painkillers. Take more. Take more. Still in a lot of pain. Okay, it's down to minor pain. Let's take more. Still minor pain. There it goes. It went away. It went away. Ugh, this bandage is going to get dirty, though. But we need to sleep. Let's do it. Let's sleep. I'm sure our bandage is going to get a little dirty. That's fine. We should be able to wake up soon. They're both dirty. Come on, wake up, wake up. In pain. All right. Oh, okay. Let's go ahead and remove these bandages. Scratched and bleeding. We're going to disinfect with alcohol wipes. And then bandage with a sterilized bandage. This one, I think we're going to disinfect. And then we're going to use an adhesive bandage. I think will be a good call for this one. Let's disinfect with alcohol wipes. And then we're going to bandage with an adhesive bandage. Because that one's not even really bleeding anymore. And we have some pain. All right, we are a nervous wreck. We are terrified. Mark Allen is just so, so sure that he's got an infection. It feels sick to his stomach. And we've got a little bit of panic going on. A little bit of panic going on from from all of the uh, all of the fear that we're going to turn into a zombie. I think he's overreacting. I think because we weren't bitten, we'll be okay. Let's disinfect both of these bandages right now so we can have sterilized bandages back again. Excellent. Throw those back in our first aid kit. Down to very minor damage. We've healed up significantly. We're going to eat some food. We're still in pain, but we're going to try to have a nice box of cereal. No, let's, let's eat some more stuff that's going to go bad here fresh grapes we could totally eat those we're gonna need to worry about hydration and we're using our water to clean our bandages let's go ahead and drink a juice box that'll help grapes help us out with a little bit of thirst as well fresh orange there's no reason okay we're too full to eat but we're feeling sick to our stomach but we're eating as much as many fruits and vegetables as we can that's where we're going to wrap things up. Wow, I don't know about you, but my heart is pounding. It's just another example of how you need to be accurate with your clicks and everything that you do in this game because the stakes are so high. We have we got a little scratched up on our left arm as we were trying to get away. They were holding on to our arm pretty good as we are trying to push everybody down. But that's hopefully going to be left behind us. I'm going to take a little break before my next episode recording. That way I can let my heart rate settle. This has been Project Zomboid episode 17, though. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me panic. I definitely enjoyed playing even when I panic. So come back next time and see us take care of this group and then hopefully get down to the mailbox and... Wow, probably just use some wood glue on an axe so we can take a, an axe to a fight with a proper horde instead of trying to use our knife on a group that's bigger than, than 10. But until next time, take care.